Hello everyone, welcome to the next video in our series of Exchange 2013 and 2019 Coexistence in Azure. And this is part 12. Um, and in this video, I actually want to talk to you about the main controllers that are running Windows Server 2019. Number one, it's not supported in a 2013 environment. If you want to know what Active Directory servers are supported, or scenarios. If you head over to Microsoft's um, docs page and I'll scroll to the top, you can see this is the supportability matrix. And under the supported Active Directory environment, you'll notice that Exchange 2013 SP1 and later, Windows Server 29 Active Directory servers are not supported. If you find yourself in a situation where you have gone and put in 2019 um, domain controllers, well, there's pretty much nothing you can do, obviously, to fix it. And even though you are in an unsupported state with Microsoft, your best option is to do your migrations as soon as possible so that you are able to get the 2013 servers out of the environment. I have had this question quite a few times, uh, including on TechGenix. And like I recommend is follow the support metrics. If Microsoft says it's not supported, it's not supported. There's no other way around it. If you have failed, as mentioned, to read the support matrix and you've gone ahead and deployed a 2019 server, you're going to probably see strange issues happening. Replica, maybe replication issues, um, you know, exchange acting funny on the 2013 side because it either loses connection to the DCs or not. Um, I have seen a few environments where um, people haven't read the matrix, they've upgraded and obviously we had to get them off 2013 as soon as possible. So please, if you are unsure, reach out and check the support matrix. If not, you can go to the Q&A on Microsoft's um, website and then you can ask the question. But um, there are many people that have already answered, including other MVPs and also on my Logs on the Tech Genix sites, it mentions that you cannot upgrade until Exchange 2013 is out your environment. So there you have it. If you have any questions, please reach out to me and look forward to you in the next part. Thank you very much for watching.